Good morning, ladies. So Mary and I are here today again. We're gonna talk about some more of our pieces from Capsule 4. We're gonna go through the fit, the design, why they earned their place in the collection, and the fabric as well. So I just thought I'd jump in and model for you. Uh, so this is the Blair. Um, we have it in black and white. And this is a longer version of the poppy that a lot of you will know. So mm -hmm. um, I love this on you, bro, because in my head that goes with a skirt or it goes with a pair of palazzos, but you have it with a pair of shorts, a fleur, and your thick tights. Yeah. And I'm thinking, I am going to go and try that on like that later on. Love because it. I love what I love about if your legs are in good shape, you don't have to worry about the condition of your legs. I've got yeah. really bad veins and I have black bits and everything on my legs. I'm kind of falling apart, as you know. But when you wear the really heavy tights, you can pull together a look like that. So don't be afraid to try it out, ladies, If um, even if you're a little bit older. Like, I'm in my mid-50s and I'm going to be giving it a go. But also, um, it doesn't have to be tights. You can wear this with the likes of our Roxy leggings as well. Um, mm -hmm. If you wanted something that's a little bit thicker that you're not comfortable being in tights, mm. throw on a pair of leggings. And yeah. it's the same kind of look. Yeah. Really what you're looking for is just the long skinny legs, elongate it with a pair of black boots or shoes or something like that so that you're not chopped anywhere. Mm. And I feel like that really just ties the whole look together. Yeah. But um, that's it in, in the ecru as well, sorry, not quite. Um, and we have this in a bundle with palazzos, so our Kate long palazzos, which is just really, really simple, really relaxed, but you could also dress it up if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. So just pop a long neck piece on with that or a scarf to make it super cozy. Have you a neck piece there on the end with just to see yeah. again? Oh, I need to follow you when we're doing this. No, the other one. We just got so many so options, we were talking, ladies. Yeah, so we were talking Sorry. yesterday about, no, the big one. <laughs> <laughs> She's a choice of three. I should have just told her which one I was yeah. talking about in the beginning. So um, just, I'll just pull out the, black trousers again so we were just talking yesterday about using neck pieces to pull your black up which just ties your whole outfit together so um just to, to to think about that when you're putting outfits together because it's just a really easy way of just changing things up yeah would you pop um a cropped jumper over that um, be too much space. I don't know that I would put, put the cropped jumper over that and the only reason being you've got a seam at your hip do you want to grab one of the cropped jumpers and yeah, you'll be able to see just don't follow me because the rest of the room is not set up for this <laughs> so in theory you could but I personally wouldn't because you've got two lines there Two horizontal lines. Is that right? Horizontal yeah. and vert vertical. Two horizontal lines there. And that wouldn't, to me, in my head, that doesn't really work because mm -hmm. it's it's creating two visual chops okay, across so the body. Okay, so maybe the shorter version from Capsule 3 might be better with this. The shorter start. version of what? Yeah. The poppy. Yeah. The... Like you could, if, if that was black and... And you were keeping black on the bottom. And you were keeping black on the bottom. You could. Like it's a, pers it's a personal choice, but... I just don't know if I would personally. Okay. Um, and then the reason that it earned the place in the collection, Mary, do you want to talk us through? <sighs> yeah, because this this is just one of our most popular pieces every time we do it. Yeah. Um, and it just gives that little bit extra glamour because you've got the frill on the sleeve. Yeah. Just show us the frill on the sleeve. And actually, we've shortened the sleeves. I'm I'm yeah, seeing black on black. Hold it out where I can see it. <laughs> Yeah, so you've got the frill on the, the sleeve, which just gives you a little bit of a more dressed up look, but you've still got that really comfy look that everybody just adores. So that it's like going outside wearing your loungewear, but you're you're actually really well put together. So yeah. um, this is our, our new jersey as well. So like, yeah, sure. yeah. Really so just show us, hold out to sat your arms so we can see the sizing on this as well, bro. So it is cut to be oversized. Bron is wearing a size small and you are... I'm kind of a 10 to a 12. 10 to a 12. Yeah. Um, now, if, if you put that with the longer the longer trousers, you have got you have got that floaty on the top and floaty on the bottom. So personally, I love to put floaty on top with skinny on the bottom. Yeah. Because, and especially if you're shorter in height, it can all just feel like it's too much fabric. So it could be just that you're putting the wrong pieces together. It might not be that the pieces are wrong themselves. Yeah. So if you were shorter in height, I would do what Broad has done 
go skinny on the bottom, oversized on the top, and you can go then skinny on the top and oversized on the bottom of the trousers. And it also depends on your body shape. So, and just for height reference, I'm five seven as well. So it does cover all your bits. Yeah, which is great. Okay. So I think that's it. Okay.